Hello and welcome to uh, Cecil Says. I am out on Long Island doing some uh, uh, just chores I have to get done. Uh, driving around. Not really near the neighborhood. I'm going back. I'll pass by my sister's neighborhood, go to the P.O. box, see if anybody sent me anything. And then I am going to get ready for the Jack Show tonight. Everybody, please... Uh, watch it's going to be a good one it's on uh chelsea uh yeah kelsey Ch <laughs> it's on chelsea clinton's channel now it's on kelsey shannon's channel uh he's a man but he has two women's names for his first and last name so uh kelsey shannon if you don't um if you're not subscribed to him uh subscribe to him immediately uh he's got a lot of great content he's a lot of fun uh, he's also got a campaign going with Mitch Breitweiser and, and the Breitweisers. Go check that out. I'm a backer for it. Uh, he's doing a book with uh, Blake Northcott called Nora Saga. Uh, there's some other books in there too. What's that guy's name? Bass Reeves and the Futurist. Uh, uh, looks really good. Anyway, check out his channel. Sub it now so you do not miss the Jack Show. Uh, you don't know how long stuff is... Uh, I leave stuff up on my channel unless, unless people request, you know, Cecil, please take this down. It will destroy lives. Uh, then I will. But um, you never know. So you want to catch uh, the show tonight live. It will be a full show. I believe Ethan is showing up too. So it will be a, an EJAC show. Uh, well, we're going to have a lot of fun. In fact, I'm kind of in the boonies, even though Long Island is a lot of boonies compared to Brooklyn. But look, I mean, this looks like countryside right now. Um, where the fuck am I? I'm a little lost because I turned off my uh, GPS to do this so it wouldn't make noise. So I kind of don't know where the fuck I am right now. Uh, that's not good. 25A, that's uh, Jericho, no? Am I on Jericho? Anyway, uh, I just got to get back to uh, a main road. I'll find my way back. But um, also, I got to find a liquor store. I am not going to be sober for, uh, for tonight's show. I got to get a nice bottle. I don't know what I'm going to get. Oh, I might get a nice bottle of rye. I've been on a rye kick lately. Um, got off bourbon. I mean, it's all the same shit, right? It's whiskey. But I don't know. I, I, I like... Uh, a little mellow glow of, of rye these days. For the, it got cold fucking quick here in New York. It sucks. All right, I'm gonna make a ride on Oakwood Road, even though I have no idea if that's uh, correct. I just feel like where I need to go is that direction. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get a nice bottle of booze for tonight. Uh, I started my fast again. I've been terrible. I was doing so well. I've, I've, I'm up almost six pounds. Since last weekend, I didn't gain any more, but it's just been, you know, the, these winter months are just, uh, whenever people want to socialize, it's like, you know, we're not going out, we're not on boats, we're not, although I might be shooting this weekend, I was invent, invited to go, uh, to go do some sport shooting, so I might some, do, do some out, but it might be fucking cold, I'm, I'm not going to stand out there like some kind of jerk, um, so I might do the sports shooting, but, but for the most part, people are like, hey, come over. We're going to go, we're, or we're going to go. I went to a beautiful steakhouse on the west side called uh, Uncle Jack's uh, the other night. Was that Tuesday? Oh, my God. Porterhouse for two, garlic mashed potatoes, cream spinach, uh, mozzarella tomatoes, grilled octopus, portobello salad. Oh, man. Good stuff. I don't know where I am. I'm driving around blind. This video might be hours for all you know. But anyway, I have to find a liquor store. I'm not familiar with this area, so I might just, if I see one, I'll pull over. You guys, maybe I'll take you in the store with me. That'll be a first. Crossing tracks. I don't remember crossing railroad tracks. Where am I? 
Um, hmm. I might have to turn this camera off to go use the GPS. I don't know. I'm a schmuck. Where the hell am I? I feel like I'm in the Midwest. I've never seen so many open spaces on Long Island. Uh, what the hell was I talking about? Oh, Jack show tonight. Also, I just was, I listen to videos uh, on, in the car whenever I have to drive. And I just um, listened to a channel called Dan Fan. It's uh, a girl. She usually talks about anime and uh, manga. So, uh, you know, that's not really my thing. So she kind of just rotates, but I don't. But this one, she was talking about YouTube. And uh, so, I, uh, so I listened to it. She's, she's good. If you're into anime and, uh, and manga, uh, watch her channel. You can sub it. Uh, but I'm, that's not really my thing. But she did have a good video just now about what's happening. She read the terms of service for YouTube, for YouTubers. And basically, you have to declare your channel is not for kids. So I have not done that. But I mean, yeah, I mean, I'll do that as soon as I get home. I mean, of course, my channel's not for kids. And I might get in trouble because, you know, they'll say, hey, you're building a, a, a human centipede Mego doll, and that would look enticing to children. Strange children, yes. But all right, and now I know where I am. I'm on, I'm on Jericho. Um, so, yeah, I have to proudly state that I am not a kids channel. You know that I am a degenerate. I am usually drunk. I will talk about past uh, drug and sex use and such of the uh, matter like that. Um, so yeah, I have to be upfront with that, and I will. But here's the thing: uh, since they're not, uh, they they don't let me advertise my stuff. I always get demonetized for the cursing. Well, if I if I declare that I'm not for kids, couldn't they re-monetize me and just not advertise to kids? Just have advertisers who don't care about you know, you know, stories about whores and uh, and uh, acid trips. I mean, there's got to be an advertiser. Speaking of acid trips, um, where am I? I don't even know where the fuck I am. Sweet Hollow Road. Uh, I thought I knew where I was when I just got on this road, but I don't. Uh, speaking of acid trips, I've been reading uh, uh, articles on uh, like very successful people are, are getting into this microdosing of acid and mushrooms. Uh, which sounds fun, but it's actually not fun because you technically you don't feel anything, but you just become more uh, productive and your brain your brain activity goes up. So, you, but you don't get high. <coughs> so, I might pick up a few tab, tabs of acid and start experimenting with that, taking little tiny pieces of it. But won't I be tempted to just take a whole tab of acid? Because in the back of my mind, even though it says. You're not supposed to get high from it. Won't I be disappointed when I take it five days in a row and you don't actually get high, but it's supposed to be good for your brain? Um, I don't know. Will I be tempted? I don't want to get back into drug use, but will I be tempted to take acid if I have a tab? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Why are you beeping? I'm not even fucking about to hit anybody. Um, I don't know. So I might pick up a few tabs. I know where I could still get them. I, uh, or should I just get shrooms and just take minute, you know, grind it up and take like a little dust every morning from the shrooms and see if that is supposed to be good for your brain. These guy, I read all these articles that really sold me on it. And now I'm like a maniac. I want to start chopping up window pane acid like a weirdo. Uh, it might be a terrible idea. Oh, I believe this is Ohika Castle, isn't it? There's like a castle over here where they uh, do weddings. Um, I think. I don't know where the fuck I am. Anyway, uh, these are the thoughts I'm having. Uh, should I do start uh, taking uh, micro doses of acid? Uh, sh should I do one before the uh, Jack show tonight if possible? If so, I got to go back to Brooklyn. Yeah, it is. Uh, that's Ohika Castle to the right. Uh, you should look that up. It's... Uh, Oh, how the hell do you spell it? O-H-E-K-A. They do a lot of weddings. It's like a guy on Long Island, um, he, built, he, ha he, he built a castle, like a European castle on Long Island. And I think somebody was murdered there last year. But anyway, um, 
check it out. It's a really cool place. I've been to a few weddings there. It's really beautiful. Uh, now I am going back to uh, Brooklyn. I'm done with my chores on Long Island. I, I, I'm going to swing by. I would like to find a liquor store, but I'm in like the boonies. There's no stores. I'm uh, easier to find somebody with a still. I need a liquor store. I think I'm going to come I think I'm about to come into a heavy populated area. I'm coming into like Syosset, I think. Oh, I hit the fucking light. Uh, okay, so I'm going to kill it here. I was hoping to take you all on a lick, but I'm not going to just ramble on for no reason. How long have I been talking? Oh my God, 10 minutes of nothing. So, yes, uh, I'm going to make sure anybody who has a channel, mark your thing as not for kids. There's no upside of having it for kids. You, you could just get your channel removed. Uh, and then who knows, maybe advertisers will. Uh, like if somebody... If somebody has a business that, that does microdosing, I would be willing to uh, do commercials for it, for free acid. Um, that is all. All right. Is there a, there's a Verizon store. Come on, liquor store. Let's see. Home services. House of Hair. I don't need that. I know the guy who owns that thing right there. He owns a big limo company. Oh, wait, wait. Here's a shopping mall. Shop and stop, bank. Here's the thing. I'm in the fucking left lane. If I do have to pull a hard right, I'll just be cutting the guy off in front of me. Uh, Party City. I could get a nice wig in there. Uh, what else is there? Uh, sandwich shop. I'm, I'm, I'm fasting. That's the other thing I was trying to say. Oh, there's got to be a fucking liquor store in here. Come on. Should I just pull in or pull out? My pull-in game is bad. Gym, no, there's a gym, a Starbucks, footwear, men's store, Woodbury Sports. I'm in Woodbury, I guess. Uh, Dakota Salon. I don't know anything around here. I got to find a fucking liquor store. If I go home, I forget to buy my, my brown liquor and I'm stuck drinking, you know, Corona Lights like some kind of idiot. I will be very upset tonight. I want to have a nice, uh, that Basil, I want, that's what I'm looking for. Basil Hayden makes a, a dark rye. Man, that shit's good. That's what I really want to find. Um, what was I saying? Oh, the, the uh, channel. Yeah, if you have a channel, mark your stuff for, uh, not for kids. Uh, I might do a video today. I had an idea for just a short video that I, I recently watched Joker again. And then I went home and I watched King of Comedy and Taxi Driver again. And, I, uh, and then I went online and I watched, um, I watched uh, the Red Letter Media review of uh, Joker where like, uh, Mike liked it, and but Jay was being a little cunt, and he was kind of like, um, what was he doing? He was just picking it apart and being, you know, the smartest guy in the room. We know you have, you know, film history training, and you're, you know, you know your shit, but, you know, enjoy the movie and just stop picking it apart. It, it was, it, it was an exceptional movie, exceptional performances, uh, and so I, I, I watched it, and then I decided, like, what did, um, what did uh, Siskel and Ebert have to say about Taxi Driver? So I actually went back and found that video of them reviewing it. And uh, I might do a video that ties, you know, Red Letter. Uh, you know, actually, the, the Taxi Driver one, Roger Ebert was on point. Always the fat guys know what they're talking about. Uh, Gene Siskel, who had this gigantic porn stash. What year was uh, Taxi Driver? 76? Somewhere around there. 75, 76, I don't know. Uh, Gene Siskel comes out. He has this giant porn stash. Ebert's still chubby. Uh, and he shits all over it. You know, he's got to be the smartest guy in the room. He wanted Taxi Driver to be a love story. And Roger Ebert, oh, I, I'm going to do a video on it. I'll, I'll tie it all together. It might just be fucking complete gibberish. I plan on doing it drunk. But um, all right, let's, I'll wait. 
I'll wait for one more, let's see, one more shopping center doing those. So here we go. All right. Everybody's cute. Everybody's got their own entrance. What do we got? Fine wine and spirits. I'm at the Mutton Town Plaza. I guess I'm in Mutton Town. I know I can't go. I, I appreciate you. But uh, I can't go while... Okay, I'll go. Uh, yeah, I drive like a jerk. There we go. Pretend I'm on the phone with someone. So, hi. Uh, rye. I need... Okay. I need rye, so... <laughs> Do you know if you have the uh, uh, Basil Hayden uh, rye? I was staring, I was literally standing in front of this. That's the dark ride. That's the dark ride. That's the one I want. Perfect. Shortens.